Welcome to MPI TV sponsored by Caesars Entertainment. I'm Sarah Solomon Dodden, and over the next few minutes, we are going to chat through research and data from the summer edition of Meetings Outlook. Jane Scaletta with Dolphin Destinations joins us now to talk about creating more sustainable events by leveraging opportunities through collaboration. Jane, you spent some time in Africa and were influenced by how sustainability is done there. Can you share your experience with us? One of the things that, that I found very exciting while I was there are hotels like the Westin in Cape Town, which now we're talking a convention hotel, was amazingly sustainable from Eat Well, where they had a garden on top of their roof, and the chef picks fresh vegetables as well as herbs directly from there, all the way down to the huge sustainability surprise for me was that when it comes to water and electricity, but mostly water, the Western is completely off the grid of city water. They create all their own water. When I went to Kapama Reserve, which is in the Kruger, I was really surprised at their anti-poaching unit that they had there, which of course helps with wildlife traps and poachers, which are all part of the sustainability efforts that they have. So is it the responsibility of the supplier to be sustainable so the planner can work within those sustainability efforts? I definitely think that it's a collaboration between the two. Yes, it's very important that the supplier has taken the steps to be sustainable themselves. That is a huge relief for the planner. The planner now knows and should be sourcing suppliers that are, are thinking sustainability and on that path, because that makes their job so much easier to accomplish that sustainable level. But beyond that, the planner should also be the um, in the com you know, and say, I'm not going to do my business with you unless you follow these sustainable efforts because we want to run a sustainable meeting. Research from Meetings Outlook shows that 40% of respondents said cost is the biggest challenge to making greener event choices. What can planners do to alleviate cost? I would then uh, consider maybe. Uh, of course, emailing all of your information up front as much as possible and then having throughout your sessions or your meetings online applications. Like in every room, there could be a digital TV or a digital screen if you can afford something a little bigger that has your update. If you're doing a conference with meetings, Every single meeting can spend less than one and a half minutes in the very beginning updating everybody throughout the meeting and there's, there's no uh, paper cost at that point. Having a hospitality desk that has a screen, maybe several screens, to have your online registration there, but can also be a place where kiosks they can come up and they can check the agenda. Instead of having that program booklet printed, they can just check an agenda. Um, and so that will help a little bit with the cost like that. You'll find if you were to do this meeting after meeting after meeting and you monitored it and you tracked it, I can tell you that from all the reports that are happening and that I am reading about, sustainability actually costs less, not more. 24% of respondents said there's no clear mandate for sustainability within events. Any resources or guidance you can provide there? You have to sit down and determine the three areas for your uh, environment, your social and your economic pillars when putting together your roadmap. It's really important that with waste management that you have a plan in place for food waste. Don't put pre-filled water on the table. Don't pre-fill any drink. Even your coffee and your teas can be all done where they're uh, self-serve. Instead of giving away something, which is a cost to a planner and the program, maybe instead have a CSR or some sort of um, activity that gives back to the community. Jane, thank you so much for this insightful discussion. And to read more research from Meetings Outlook, be sure to read the August issue of The Meeting Professional. Thanks for joining us on this edition of MPI TV, sponsored by Caesars Entertainment.